Good afternoon and welcome to the Hour of Politics here at Focus on Liberia. My name is Anson Isie, the host of this program here at Focus on Liberia. If you are in Liberia following us, we want to say good evening and welcome to Focus on Liberia. In today's edition of the Hour of Politics, we have two outstanding gentlemen from the state of New Jersey. There is a Liberian organization there or community there, and they are running. They want to represent that Liberian community uh, to transform it and make it vibrant so that Liberia, uh, the Liberian community there can enjoy a much better representation. So we have team Anthony and Peter uh, for a better Liberian community in New Jersey. Uh, we have uh, Anthony who is the presidential candidate and his vice presidential candidate is uh, Peter Massaquet. At this time, I will welcome the man who wants to take the highest seat in that community, Mr. Anthony uh, Baye. Sorry for if I'm not pronouncing your name right there. Oh, welcome. It's good to have you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good to have you in our homes and to our viewers all over the all over the world, Liberia, Central Jersey. Mm -hmm. We want to say welcome, and we are here to discuss the issue. We are here to to discuss fights. We are here to discuss what is happening in our community. Mm -hmm. and how best we can move our community forward come May 14, 2023. Once again, I want to say thank you for allowing us to use your platform to convey our message to our people. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And it's good to have you here also seated and contesting along with Peter as the vice presidential candidate is Peter Mansaque. Mr. Mansaque, welcome to Focus on Liberia. Thank you, thank you. Um, it's a pleasure being here as a former journalist. We know the terrain. Um, like the president regularly stated, we are here to provide facts mm -hmm. and also inform our people of the central Jersey and its metro, metro areas what are our plans for this community. And we are here to speak facts. We are here to provide real-time solutions for the Liberian community as a team. This is our sole purpose. Uh, at Team Anthony and Team Peter. So we want to say thank you for giving us the opportunity to use your platform to reach out to our supporters. Thank you. Thank you. And to those listening to us, I know us Liberians, we love this thing called politics. But there's the saying that all politics is just local. You are here in the US, or even if you are in Liberia, you have a friend here in the U.S., then the politics is somehow local to you, right? Let's talk the community. This is community politics here. So be a part, share this thing, you know, and let us talk. If Liberians here are doing well and united, Liberia will get stronger and united. And so this thing is so important, so I would like for you to stay with us. Gentlemen, let's get to it here. Let me put myself in the middle and make adjustments so Liberians there can see you. Uh, we want Liberians to see you there so that they can hear from you. The community of New Jersey uh, must be represented. And when we're talking about better representation, we're talking about leadership. And you guys, you know, came forth and say, hey, we can provide that leadership, that better representation for the community to thrive. And Mr. Vice Presidential Candidate, uh, first thing. Why are you doing this? Why are you in the race? What is at stake for which you think you should be the man and Peter should be your able lieutenant to steer the affairs of that community? Talk to us. Are you talking to the vice president? The I'm vice talking president? to the president, the presidential candidate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Our community is at a crossroad. Mm -hmm. After 12 years of devising the community, 
-hmm. We have come together through the help of Yula to have this election. Mm -hmm. This is a special election. There's no incumbent in this election. This election is about our community. It's about things that we see in our community that Peter and Marcel have decided to change. This community need reconciliation. This community need to be unified. Mm -hmm. In order to do that, Peter and myself have reached out to opinion leaders, to stakeholders in the community, and we formed a broad-based coalition. And we believe that this coalition can unify and heal this community. Because this community is so dear to us, we can't sit back and let our community go in the wrong direction. That is why Team Peter and Team Tuning decided to come together to go into the community and reach out to opinion leaders so that we all together can form a unified community. That is why we are running to become president and vice president because we believe we can bring about transparency, accountability, and good governance to our community. Because of lack of good governance, our community has been divided for more than 12 years. And we want to restore hope in our people, to let our people know that our community, after, after May 14, will be unified again, that our community will be accountable to its people. That's why Peter and myself, along with other people, are running to become president, vice president, secretary, general treasurer, and chaplain, board members, to make sure our community is in a steady hand. Thank you so very much. Uh, that was the, the presidential candidate there. I don't want to get in bad books with this candidate. Uh, he wants to win this thing. So, uh, Mr. Vice Presidential Candidate, why are the issues in the community? How serious are the issues for which you think your team possesses the needed leadership qualities uh, to be able to study the affairs of that community? Well, um, as he stated, as my boss stated earlier on, mm -hmm. this community have not had any representation for the past 12 years because of lack of trust, disunity, and lack of good governance. Mm -hmm. It hurt our hearts as a high-ranking Liberian uh, citizen residing in the United States in one of the largest urban community that cannot come together as a team to see how best we can organize ourselves to support the our senior citizen our young people even proposed developmental initiatives back home in liberia we decided to come together as a team of professionals after eula uh decided to step in to organize the special election we said hey we cannot sit back and allow our community go back to start a court. We currently have few individuals in the community who claim to be the face of the community, impersonating, which of course they are not the face of the community, getting what needs to be done to the community or be given to the community. We want to change that. It's about time that every single Liberian in Central Jersey and the metropolitan areas come together under one umbrella so that we can move our community forward. And we're going to do that by restoring that trust and confidence. Look at our team. We are all professionals. I'm from a business background, a seasoned insurance agent, a seasoned business entrepreneur. We have a team of immigration personnel that have helped thousands of librarians in this community. We have healthcare professionals. We have law enforcement officers, certified public accountants that have been helping. But we've been doing this individually. It's about time to come together to bring our expertise to the table and help reform our community. And we can do this. I know Liberian people are people that are trustworthy, people who believe in uh, organizational structure or democracy, people who, when they join together, they can move mountains. So Tim Anthony and Tim Peter brings a lot to the table. And we are here because we don't want to sit back and allow the community force into the wrong hands.
We don't want that. There are a lot of things that have been going on in the community. Look at this common election. People preaching division. We are not here to preach division. We are here to help reunite our people and restore the trust. This is why we are running on a full pilot agenda in terms of reconciliation, senior citizen sustainability, community reforms and programs, sports and recreation activities. This four point agenda incorporates every sector of our Liberian community, and we're going to work together. And in subsequent interview, we'll be explaining what do we mean by the four agenda? What, how are we going to achieve it? We'll explain to the people to know that we're here for good and we're here to make the difference. Gentlemen, thank you for making your opening uh, case and statement there uh, in this conversation. Let's get to it. The game is on, but it's not over here. But while the game continues, I am hearing that you guys are raising fingers and pointing at some red flags that pretty much you alone see that the other side does not see. Gentlemen, one of which is you are already having qualms with the voter roll. Let me start with you, Mr. Uh, presidential candidate. What is the issue with the voter roll that you are having? Are you crying before the game here? No, point of correction. Uh, mm -hmm. It's our opponent that is crying about the voter roll. So mm -hmm. let me let me just give you some information about the voter roll. Yeah, uh, Mr. Mr. President, can you? I oh, uh, feeling electing him earlier, Mr. Presidential Can Can you adjust on the opposite side so you can be in the middle? Thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. As I said, uh, concerning mm -hmm. the voter roll, mm -hmm. we are not the one complaining about the voter roll. Okay. It's the opponent that is complaining about the voter roll. Okay. Yesterday, the opponent said on Friday. He said there were 400 ghost names on the voter roll. Mm -hmm. And then today on Costa Show, the opponent said 300 ghost names. Today, you never said ghost because we tried to correct him yes on Friday because mm -hmm. ghost doesn't vote in elections. Mm -hmm. So the issue here is the election commission, like I said, is a special election. The election commission have been communicating with both parties. Mm -hmm. the town table to the election and all of these things were voted upon in a general meeting in the city of Trenton. Our opponent was one of those that voted for the 90 days period for elections. People are advocating for six, six month period. They advocated for three months. Now we're in the three months. On Friday, the voter registration end on the 30th. We were given two options. You either register by mail or in-person registration. Our opponent chose to take in-person registration and we took to use both process, in-person and mailing. Mm -hmm. So the concern they have is on the 30th, the allegation rather, and you that will speak to that allegation, Okay. I'm not here to address it. I, I'm not here to speak on behalf of Eula. Mm -hmm. But the allegation was 400 ghost names was added to the list. Mm -hmm. So meaning that the 400 ghost names were added on in favor of us if if they claim that the, the ghost name is against them. Mm -hmm. So our take here is if we register, if there's and, and, and you think names, and you think that that allegation as you terminate uh it's not accurate, it's, it's it does not exist. Ghost doesn't vote in an election. In this election, you have to show mm -hmm. proof of ID, state issue, state issue driver license, and state issue other call it registration card mm -hmm. that carry your address. So a ghost doesn't have an address. My take here is we use the we use the two system. One mail in ballot, two in person registration. Thank you. Our opponent make use of one. So we register people. Let me show you proof. This is from the post office. This is a receipt from the post office. I mail in ballots. So if anybody will come on and say, oh no, these are ghost name, it's not true. I okay. only make use of both of the system. Okay. So and that's the, fair uh, enough. 
there, there are two options uh, to register from what I'm hearing from you. Uh, you can register in person or you can also uh, mail in uh, the registration uh, information to the election commission. Is that true? Yes. And you are taking advantage of both options and you are saying your opponent is just taking advantage of the in-person uh, registration. Yeah, he took advantage of the in-person. Mm -hmm. There were two, on the 16th of April, there was an in-person registration. Okay. And... We never got the total number of people that registered until the 23rd of April. Of April. Okay. Almost six days. Mm -hmm. Our opponent did not complain about that time frame. This, the, the final voter registration was on the 30th. Now he's saying on the 30th, the election commission should have given him the total number of people that registered on the 30th. And we said, no. You never know complained. You think that is not a, a legitimate request from him? It is legitimate. I'm not here to defend you now. Okay. My take here is mm -hmm. there were two process. two May processes. In, processes, rather, made mm -hmm. in and mm -hmm. in person. Mm -hmm. We took advantage of two. So if you see the receipt. Yeah, you did show that. There are a lot of made in ballot that went in. Okay. And on the fifth, you that came up with a total list of registered voters. So, so, so the, the, the list has been. Public, right? Yeah, everybody got access to so the both sides have seen it. Yes, and for your side, you have no quan. He got some quans with it. No, I got some issue with the voter roll. People need what people, people, people need what duplicated on the voter roll, mm -hmm. including my opponent need what duplicated on the very has that been has that been corrected to your knowledge? We are correcting it. They told us mm -hmm. go through the list. Mm -hmm. Maybe misspell of name or address, or everything. These are things that we're working on. Okay. These are things I've been working on for, for my campaign since since Thursday, and I continue to work on it because I want to make sure that everybody that is coming to vote, mm -hmm. name matches are appear on the voter roll and on their valid driver lesson or state you. issue ID. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me come to the vice presidential candidate here, uh, Mr. Peter Masakwe. Stay on this voter roll. What 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 is your take here? Uh, yup yup yup. Mr. President, pr presidential candidate is saying you guys don't have qualms. It is your, your your opponent that is crying about the process. What do you say? Well, I support uh, my boss. Let me mm -hmm. tell you something. Election is about numbers. Is he your oh. boss, really? Of course, election is about numbers. We ran a grassroots campaign. Mm -hmm. We reach out to actual voters. Our opponents, when we were in the sun under the rain at night, encouraging people to register to vote, our opponent was having beauty pageant. Right? So they thought that election was all about merrymaking. But we took advantage of the situation by reaching out to the actual voters. Let me tell you something. If we want to unite this community and bring about change, Mm -hmm. You have to get people to vote. You have to get people registered to vote. And we did that. We have received, we have documents to prove that as far as we're concerned, we have registered more people to participate in this election over our opponent. First of all, our opponent overlooked our campaign. He thought that there were a bunch of people who doesn't have four master's degree, so we never knew how to move around. And that was a wrong perception. Our opponent took advantage of his social club popularity in the community, thinking that it was the entire Liberian community. He was making more enemy than friendship. Our opponent took the election to be our old versus young. And that was wrong. We put together a team of professionals. Look at our board members. These are people that served the community before. So, so Peter, so no, let's stick to the Peter, hold on. Let's stick to the voter registration thing. Yes. You say you register people. Is there a way to verify the people you register that they are actual human beings? Is there a way to verify that? If so, who is to verify that? Or, and also, has that been done? We have proof. And Eula, who's serving as a neutral ballot to run this election, mm -hmm. they have rules and regulations into place. Elections, we talk about actual people going into vote. Nobody voting online. 
all the names and addresses of these people that people yeah, exactly we have proof i personally have lists of every single person that i register or encourage to register to vote i have that name telephone number addresses and every member of our team has similar thing this is what's going to happen on may 14. and i pray that i can fly a representative from your team here for mm -hmm. atlanta georgia mm -hmm. on my personal expense to mm -hmm. come and monitor this election as an uh, independent observer okay. on election day Mm -hmm. Nobody gonna vote in this election without showing a valid ID. It's not gonna happen behind the scene. Our opponent will have two representatives. We're gonna have two representatives as we refer to our pool washers. Mm -hmm. These people will be there to represent both campaigns to report any irregularities. You are saying, Peter, you are saying you succeeded in register more uh, voters than your opponent. What did you tell them? What did you give them? Did you give them anything? Well, we didn't give anybody anything. This way, and your opponent did not succeed. What did no, you do? Because our opponent was focusing on having parties. Our opponent was bent on bringing in people from other states to raise their hand to say, I endorse this person. But he forgot to know that those endorsements that he received cannot translate into vote. We went after actual voters, people that live within our domain, people that live within Central Jersey and the metropolitan area that have the ability to vote. We reached out to them. We left our homes, our offices, we left our work, and we reached out to these people and explain to them about the importance of this election and why our team is so important and fully prepared to lead this community. Let me tell you something. Our opponent is not ready to lead. Our opponent doesn't have the leadership skills to lead. So these are all scared tactics trying to uh, undermine the great effort of EULA for this election. Okay. If, our if our opponent had done the team well like we did, Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we all should go to the process and vote. Our opponent claim that the registered are 400 person. So do the thing in our mind. I pay that much because I have over 50,000 clients across mm -hmm. the United States. But when they say that they register 150 percent to vote in the election, no, we do have. I, are you suggesting that because you run an insurance company, so you reach out to your clients and you have registered them and you want to they are the one coming to vote for you you, you no i didn't say that, that. What I'm ethical saying is, transgression Peter? we are popular in this community we are opinion leader people believe in our leadership people know us so our opponent had a notion that we are nobody so, so, so your, your leverage is your business connection with my business connection and my way of reaching out to the people we've been helping people in the community not only because the election is coming we have been there from the community in trial terms we have helped them. They know okay. us personally. So All right. they are willing to support us. Well, I, I just hope that there will be uh, independent observers to be able to verify the IDs of these people that have been right. registered, that they are actual people, and so that there cannot be fraud in this process. Another thing we heard about here from Focus on Liberia is this allegation that the election uh, may go the way of your opponent, your, your opponent is actually accusing you, right? That the election may go your way because somehow you are in some kind of connection with folks in Eula who have played some kind of a supervisory role uh, in the election. Uh, I want you to address yourself to the allegation. Uh, Anthony, you go first. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Um, is, Eula, is Eula doing a job for you while you sit by and enjoy? Is that what it is? No. Um I've been registering people mm -hmm. and everybody will attest to that. Mm -hmm. I took two weeks off work to register people. That means I have to deprive my family of certain benefit mm -hmm. to make sure I register people. Mm -hmm. So the idea that you lie is easing up to me for anything is false, is misleading. Mm -hmm. This election. It's a special election. You don't have, you don't, all you don't want to do is to make sure this chapter become active memory again. The whole you thing. No preference to you from you? No, not at all. For what? Look, my name does not ring bell in, in, Yula, in Yula in Osako. The name Anthony Pai. It does not ring bell there. So for anybody to say, oh, you lie is favoring me, it's hard to believe because I enter, we entered this election because we, we want to change. 
because we wanted to we wanted to bring about transparency to our community. Mm -hmm. There's no way. And I told people, my life is an open secret. I got nothing to hide. I have a good character. I'm a nice, I'm a good and a decent human being. There's nothing there for anybody to say, oh no, this may stigmatize. Let's get this done, let's get that done. I'm a very independent man. I'm very independent and I respect people. And I hope in this election, we'll respect one another and focus on the issues. If we bring, if we register more people, there's one thing I want to talk about in this registration. But, but Anthony, before to, that, before that, Anthony, the narrative that the opponent is saying, you have this agenda of unity that the people before you, many of whom are, you know, you have members and executives, uh, you are saying, you know, they have to be part of the process. And he is saying, no, those are the old heads. They, they, they fail this community, something you alluded to, that the community has not been represented you know, better in the past. But these are the people now you want to be in bear with just because you want to win. That's what he's saying. Whereas he wants to see them gone, they had their time, they didn't serve well. Please respond to that. But if I can set the record straight, mm -hmm. The people my opponent is referring to as field people, these are people he referred to as, as his mentor. Okay. These are people that these are people that are talking to Eula Convention. When they are, when they all were at the convention dancing and merrymaking, I wasn't at the convention. All right. So if you hang out with these people at the convention, you did everything. Mm -hmm. you, we all went to the first meeting, went to the second meeting, and you disagree on policy. Then you call them old people, you call them failed people. These are people that he referred to as his mentor, like Emma Johnson. When he got a job at the, at, at the Trinidad Waterworks, mm -hmm. he worked with Emma Johnson. One of those that he's trying to demonize as a failed person. He refers to Emma Johnson as his mentor. So in one sentence, your mentor is a failed, is a failed person. Another, in another sentence, he's a mentor. So everybody will get confused. Well, are you are you doing business with this? Are you in contact with them? This are you election to make them to be part of your leadership. So no, this election is open to everybody. There's only two teams on the election: Team Peter and, and Team Hector and Linda. All of the other candidates are independent. All of the other candidates are independent in this election. All the board members are independent. The secretary, the treasurer, the financial, they are all independent. The only team on this ticket is Peter and Anthony. But we work with our executive and our board members. Okay. These are former, these are former, like Mr. Stalin Miller is former, is former, former president. Mr. Jean Ali is former president. And I have the privilege to unify both of them and they're working with us. They said they're running as board members. This is a free country. So, I so I think there, some there, were, there were Team Hector is having problem. I, I, I don't know why, but the thing is because those people they, they refer to as old hands, old hairs, uh, you are making them part of your platform on unity. You want to unite the community and, and, and you're trying to do business with them. And he thinks that this is, you know, old wine in just a new battle because they're going to show you uh the way they left before okay I, I want to respond to that please please Let me have my president here mm -hmm. our opponent is talking about oh one in new battle but look at the cabinet the cabinet member of our opponent okay these are all official of a social club so are you telling us that the social club leadership is going to run the same leadership of the labyrinth community why, why you call social club they, they are human beings are they not Liberians? Of course, what well, the old people he referring to are the Liberians. They have that democratic right to vote in election. They have that. Well, right you are talking about social club. club. They are social beings. No, what I'm saying is that a social club. Our opponent run called the Twitter Professional Otamos. Otamos. He's been okay. president for that organization for seven years without mm -hmm. making one financial statement. He have not had any election to elect new officers. Because of this election, he took the very treasure of that organization, made him member of his cabinet in this election. His current vice president run the membership and mobilization campaign program for the social club. 
why can't why couldn't she step aside and focus on different activities because he cherry picked them he wants to run the same format he run his social club where that he's not answerable to anybody that's the same notion he wants to put to the community level for our campaign we don't think that way we went after a team of professionals people that have served the community in the past people that have the knowledge and the way forward to make this happen so somebody right. can be part of the social club or peter and be a professional we are humans we are not saying we're not saying that they're not just social individuals they are not professionals no we're not saying that i support that social club as well financially what i'm saying is this individual has you, you, you didn't get their blessing that's why you're saying this. no 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 okay. we were not even consulted about their interest to contest in mm -hmm. the first place Okay. But, what, but a lot I'm trying to pressure is mm -hmm. why should our opponent have issue with people that support our campaign, but he do not have issue that he hand pick for his social club to run on his cabinet. That's conflict of interest. So one more thing what those thing people have to question his authority, if he cares, he become person of the LeBron community because it's the same. The, 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 the same, same thing. The same you, you, have, you have registered. Let me pull it to you, or uh, Peter. The same thing. You have registered. People who are in connection with you from your business, your no, I didn't say that. You I, said, I, encourage, I encourage Liberian citizens. Yes, you encourage to them. and register because this election is very important. I did not say I register my client. No, my client, even if I register my client, quote unquote, they are Liberians. But I mean, registering I mean, that, that you, 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 you but, reach out to people. Exactly. Uh -huh. But I reach out to people while my opponent choose to run a beta pageant. Mm -hmm. Beta pageant doesn't bring numbers to election. We talk about electable voters. So don't blame our campaign or EULA for your failure to take advantage of tools that were available to you from the beginning. Well, Peter, you it's about, about numbers, about right? It's about numbers. Wherever you can get the numbers, there you go. So he's using what he's connected to uh, to bring the necessary numbers. The numbers just have to be legitimate, just as you have also reached in your network to register people who are Liberians. So then what don't is the cry. issue here? Don't cry. Be satisfied with your path. And let me be satisfied with my path. Then why blame people for your failure? Okay, we all what? have our path to run campaign and we run our campaign and we run a peaceful and clear campaign. Why our opponent choose to run a divisive campaign? For mm -hmm. a typical example, mm -hmm. members of our, of our supporters went to their camp. They kicked them out. They said it wasn't welcome. Is that how you will unify the community if you become president for the community? That's wrong. Our campaign is open to everybody, whether you support us or not, because why? We are all beings. Okay. Keep in mind. Mm -hmm. We are all coming to this process with one goal mm -hmm. to help revamp this community to make it more stronger again, mm -hmm. that we can participate in all our activities like all of the brand community. We Thank feel bad. All of people come to the United States to look up to Trenton. But what leadership does Trenton have to you unite everybody and assist people? So we are here to make the difference. We don't want to go and, back and, to the and, and so here's the thing: you are a business person, and you got the both of you are professionals. There is something you raised quite about that I'm like, okay, what's the, there was this call that thing, I mean, Heto, who is the head of Team Heto, was connected to or is connected to. You oppose that, you know, nothing should be held at that particular hall. And you being a business person, you're taking business from a Liberian just because of politics. I don't no. think having an event there was what's going to make him to win. I, I mean, disagree. You, I, I disagree let, with you. Let me come in. 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 So, Anthony, why were you opposed that? Are you not supporting Liberian businesses again? you preaching unity here. Yeah. Election is not about Liberian businesses. This election, look, if you want to, if I, if the issue of, I don't want to discuss Hector Hall because Hector filed an official complaint with the, with the election commission mm -hmm. and then we had a conference call on thursday he walked off the conference call and then you like you like you like try to explain to hector to team hector that once you declare your intention we use your hall you never told us you are running for president once you make your intention known that you're running for president, mm -hmm. you have decided not to use that property again because yeah, it's, it's your property. Interest. It's your property. So you have went ahead 
a renter another place for the second voter registration. You and did that, not complain uh, to Eula? You did not complain to Eula about that? If we did complain? Yes. We did complain to Eula. Why were you complain? Why would we not we complain? That's conflict of interest. No, because it's just a whore. It's no, it's not just a whore. It's the he has lavish. Peter, listen. It's so not what just is the leverage? Whore. It's not just the a whore. Is it's not What's just a whore. whore. We live let, in a democracy. Let Anthony country. complete for it. What, what is the leverage? Listen, there's not just a whore. There's democracy. We always ask people to declare their conflicts. So if Hector wants to be president, he can win. No matter where the carrot, no matter who holds the who holds the event or who holds the hall. And secondly, nobody signed pre-contract with Hector to use his hall or to use his facility. I don't want to, to spend more time talking about Hector no, facility. No, no. We're not gonna spend more that time. I just wanted to stuff. bring it up. That hair personal stuff that was through all my campaign, we mm -hmm. choose not to discuss his personal stuff. All right, thank you. So the fact of matter that you that you that agree, mm -hmm. and people agree that. Who can have the event to his hall? I think that that case is closed, and we we'll move on. All right, thank you, thank you, Anthony. Let me come to Peter quickly. Yeah, Peter, you said he will or he will have had a leverage if you had not complained, and if that building was not squashed out of the picture, he will have had leverage. How? Because the very hall is a capi headquarter for our opponent. Say, for example. The National Election Commission in Liberia is it prudent to use the ANC or United Party headquarters as a or as a ever for voter registration? It's impossible. We will be the same people bashing them. How our opponent not being into this race, we have we have had no issue with him. He will be used for that purpose. So but he is a candidate. For yeah. example, mm -hmm. at the very hall when registration was going on, mm -hmm. our opponent and his team. But also that facility coercing Liberians to vote in his favor. Is that a thing that we're going to spend on election day to the hall? The very hall you that is using now belongs to another Liberian who is not a party to this election. But, it's a but, neutral venue. And we think we're going to work with that person. Peter, your team, team Anthony Peter, is preaching unity. All right. You, 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 you are preaching unity. But and this, are, this is a small community. Unity. This is a small community. I don't see how you see the no, hall. I, disagree, sir. As, I don't see how you see the hall. If you mobilize, if you campaign, if you trust your voters that they're going to vote for you, do you know just that because they the hall belongs to a non Liberian, I don't see how it changes each vote. What's the definition of conflict of interest, sir? I don't what, know. What's the definition? You know, you should know. I mean, you are a journalist and you know what comes. Listen, we shouldn't look at bread and pin. The very hall that you're talking about. I gave donation for that hall as well. I cannot honor my somebody because I mean they're my opponent. No, I can't. Just that. a hall that's been used for an event. Anyway, can I, maybe we should Mr. leave Mr. that. Mr. And Mr. Mr. Yeah, Mr. The hall doesn't Mr. have a Sier. permit for event. The mm -hmm. hall doesn't Mr. have Sier. a permit in the yes. first place. Mr. Yes, Anthony. Yes, Anthony. You know, like I said, I don't want, I don't yes. want to make, I don't want us to make this conversation about hall. About hall, I agree. Because, mm -hmm. because, if you, if you look at the complaint that was filed, official complaint that was filed, my mm -hmm. opponent never never addressed that issue about mm -hmm. exactly about about, about his personal hall. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to dwell on his personal hall. So let, let me put something hall, substantive here. That his personal hall, mm -hmm. he can do whatever he want. Mm -hmm. Nobody from our team going to question him, mm -hmm. but in a democracy, in a democracy, when more, when even in this great country, mm -hmm. we try to evolve conflicts okay. of interest. Mm -hmm. And member of the fourth estate should know that conflict of interest in any organization or in any election bring about lack of trust. All right, you know, uh, gentlemen, so if, if you put aside personal yeah. stuff mm -hmm. and focus on the issue, I Thank don't you. want to dignify his personal stuff. Thank you. Thank you. His personal stuff. Thank I mean, you. We, we want we want to talk about what our plans are for the committee, and we're, we're going to get to that quickly. Topic. So you guys are right. Let us leave this whole thing. Let us get to something uh, very substantial. Uh, folks watching us, I'm Anthony Sia, the host of the Hour of Politics. I have with me Peter Massacre vice presidential candidate and also mr anthony uh f Pauye for president of vice presidential candidate for 
the Liberian community in New Jersey. That is the central New Jersey and metropolitan area in New Jersey. These two men want to represent that community to serve the community better because in their opinion, the community has not been served well. We will take a short break. When we come back, we will go into some substantive issues. They have plans. Can they achieve those plans? How good are their plans anyway? Did they actually do any homework to come up with these plans? Are these plans robust enough to transform the community according to them that has been let down for so long? When we come back, my questions will bite them. All right, folks, uh, we are back with you. And gentlemen, before we get to your plan, uh, let's talk about money. The last time I had a plan to come to America, I would not have been here if I didn't get the money. So if we want to talk plan, sometimes people do the plan first, right? But let's talk money because you say you have one now. Let's see where the money comes from. Let juice it up with something teasing. And let me brief on this one. The government of Liberia announced 100K for EULA. This community is a member of EULA. Let's start with you, Anthony. What is your take on this 100K for EULA and also 300K in the budget for EULA? What is your take? Let me brief on this one. Look, uh, my position having changed. Okay. Since I think this will be the third or fourth time concerning mm -hmm. that question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, having changed. The money in question mm -hmm. should be used for our people mm -hmm. back home. Mm -hmm. Our people need all the help they can. In America, those are all that our privilege should be here. Mm -hmm. If you are not well today, you go to the ER, you're going to get treated. In Liberia, if it gets to the hospital, you don't have money, you're not going to get treated. The issue of this 100,000, if what I, Minister McGee have delivered the 100,000, or is it going to be into the budget? Look, I'm against it, and I will be, continue to be against it. If you don't need money, you like is a, you like is, is a, is a non for profit organization. There are a lot of other ways you that can get money. There are a lot of other ways people can contribute to Eula. So the issue of 100,000, I'm against that 100,000, and I'm against any money going into the budget for Eula. And what is your recommendation to Eula concerning? My the... recommendation to Eula, if true, that Ms. Minister Minister Natalia Father Mangil did give 100,000 or pledge 100,000. The money should be given back to Minister McGill. If the money came from the government, it should be given back. And you guys should come out and make a statement about that money. Thank you. Peter, you are a business guy. Business people are about money. They know the power of money. They know money, you know, can get things done. We're talking money here. Good money, too. Your take. Well, um, like my boss today, mm -hmm. everyone needs money, but we need money the right way. Okay. There are numerous problems Liberians are faced with today. For example, our national airport, mm -hmm. the healthcare sector. Mm -hmm. We believe we as Liberian citizens residing in the diaspora mm -hmm. have better opportunities, have better ways to raise money, to even support our country back home, other than the government taking portion of the little resources they have to their disposal to support us here in the United States. Mm -hmm. This is why I support the view of my boss that EULA should reject such offer. EULA as a non-profit organization have ways to raise money. 
if you are lacking ideas, we can support you like ideas. We can give them, we can make recommendations on ways we can raise even more than 100K in the United States that will support our favorite chapters. Okay. We have the way to do that. We have done that for nonprofit organization outside our librarian community and within our librarian community. We okay. have ideas, we have strategies that we can help raise money here to support our activities and programs in Africa. So the government of Bureau does not need to take any money of the already tiny budget mm -hmm. to support us in the United States. I All right. That as well. I like that. You say you have ideas, so you have this plan. You want to reconcile the community. Uh, you want to make sure that senior citizens are sustained. Uh, you want to reform the community you know, using programs, and you're talking sports and recreational activities. You're talking big money here, and you just make a big talk here that, you know, you've done it before. The simple question is, what are your strategies to raise money other than relying on meeting deals, which has been the tradition of most library organizations, and how much money can you raise? Let's start with you. Peter? Well, um, it's a good question. Our team of professionals, we have lobbying skills that we can lobby with both the city of Trenton and on the federal level to have access to grant, to donor funding. We're going to use our seeing grassroots strategy that the very Liberians, there are a lot of successful Liberians in this community that only need people that they can count on to move the community forward. This is what we're going to do. In less than six months, our foremost priority is to ensure that we have the Labrador Community Center. And that center is going to be available to the Labrador Community, not in my name or Tony name. It will be owned by the Labrador Community, meaning that even if we are not in power, the Labrador Community will have, it will be our legacy that will be left behind for them. Now, how are we going to do this? We're going to reach out to every stakeholder in this community. We're going to utilize our file one c 3 status to access legal and legitimate grant that is available. We, we have attended a series of meetings, series of programs from both the Hispanic community and other nationals. These people are benefiting because while they are united, we can do the same. We are not going in this as individuals. We have the will to do it. We will write corporate businesses that have corporate social responsibility to the community. The Labrador community is no exception. They need to benefit from that. We're going to reach out. We're going to use our skills and ideas backed by our supporters. We're not just going to sit down and impose. We will organize town hall meeting with them. We're going to solicit our views. We're going to take everyone's idea to achieve this goal. And that's what we're going to do. And, because and, we and, believe by doing this, mm -hmm. we'll have our area call our own to have our regular town hall meeting that will be able to provide briefing to our community members, issue financial statement with them, also create opportunity for our young people that will be able to use our same platform for education purposes and research. So you just said uh, you there's something called corporate social responsibility. The Librarian community is part of the community and their cooperation who are uh, in those communities making business from Liberians alike. Right. You are going to approach them. But I don't think you're just going to say, hey, we are Liberians here. We buy from businesses. So give up money. You have to carry a plan. So what are you going to take to them that would make them to see reason to contribute to the community, for example, to build this hall that you're talking about? But that's the plan I just unveiled to you. We have a full PowerPoint agenda that is detailed. That is detailed. We're going to write a proposal to them. We're mm -hmm. going to reach out to them. We know it's not going to have a walk in the park, but we'll have the way to do it. Let me tell you something about my history when I told you I've done it before. Okay. I am a member of AJA, the Labrador Journalist Association. Okay. I held one of AJA's successful convention in New Jersey, where we raised over $20,000 in one night. We okay. brought together stakeholders from both the basic background, from the grassroots level, and our quality across the United States and other parts of the world. People believe in Aja agenda that we prefer that we want to achieve this particular goal by the end of the year. If I can do it for Aja, I can do the same for the Labrador community. And what was done with that money? 
of course, Aja identified projects to help Liberian journalists in Liberia, and those projects have been implemented already. The money was handed over to various committees, and it's been executed. That, that, that was a drop program. in the bucket. I mean, you so you're not raising big money here. Let me tell you something. Like I said, we have a team of professionals that can move money. I didn't tell you Peter Massey are going to ban road this organization. No. We have the connection with the support from our community members, mm -hmm. with the support of team of professionals on our team. Mm -hmm. We can make this happen. Okay. These are people that have been there before, and we're mm -hmm. going to tap on the expertise together with what we have back by the community, and we're going to move mountains. So that's what we are all for business. Thank you. We cannot you. do that with all you not in the community. Uh, Anthony, Mr. Presidential Candidate, you're listening to your teammate there. Have you identified airily? I, I want you guys to be proactive here. Have you airily identified the institutions you're going to be engaging? How you're going to be engaging them? What you're going to be telling them? What you're going to be selling to them for them to be able to give you money? I don't think you can rely on meeting you. So talk to me about that. Thank you. Um. Let me make one or two correction. Okay. The please. issue of the issue of meeting to you. Mm -hmm. Look, our community does not want to run on meeting deals. Okay. The reason people, the reason people don't even pay a meeting to you because of lack of accountability. Mm -hmm. I can assure you today, if our people, if our people gets to understand, get to see where their money is being spent. Liberian people are people that love to give. Liberian people are people that love good things. The reason people don't even pay a meeting to you because there's no accountability. Mm -hmm. We want to put a system in place that every every money that will be spent by this association, mm -hmm. our people will be will, will be informed mm -hmm. through bank statement, not spreadsheet, through bank statement to tell our people we got. We got five dollars in the bank, mm -hmm. and this is how your five dollar will use. If we can, if we can bring confidence back to our people, if we can make our people believe that the part of the community, we can move mountains. That's all our people need to do to believe in the community again. Mm -hmm. Once they believe in the community, they will give their all, and once they give their all, we all together. Will make this community one of the best in the city of Trenton. Prior to a lot of big names came all of Trenton. A lot of big names. But at the end of the day, all we want today is to be able to get a place of our own. This community does not have a place called her own. But how can we do that? Is to bring everybody together. Oh, you got you got Trenton as your home. So, I mean, in terms of community center. I mean, what will community center do for you? They do a lot of things for the community. Don't tell There's me. There's no meeting place for the community. We rotate meetings to so individual homes. And these are things we want. These are things we besides, want to work. Beside the meeting place, what is, because, you know, you want to be able to sustain this, right? You're talking about this whole thing. I can see that it's big to you. What, what are the benefits of having a, a hall? for the community what what would they call bring to the community what purpose will it serve for the community other than just going somewhere maybe to have a meeting or an event talk to me the whole is not about going somewhere it's not just about going somewhere i guess you're in a studio today if your studio is mobile mm -hmm. because most yeah, people have a mobile mobile studio. Studio. Yeah, it's okay mm -hmm. so there's a meeting place for you that way you do your research and everything Mm -hmm. The community center center will be a one 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 shop one stop shop. Yeah, you go there for information, mm -hmm. and then that will help unify our people. But like I said, in every in every community, a hall is not big for me. The hall is not big for this thing. There's nothing big for any for for anybody. Once you guys work towards it, there's nothing that is too big for for anybody to achieve. In their lifestyle. So the Hoya will so, just be a place where the community can be located. But uh, what are other things, you know, the Hoya will bring to the community? Let me, you expand, on that. Mm -hmm. let me expand on that. Okay. This Hoya that you mentioned, is, first of all, it's not big for anybody. We can afford that Hoya triple double if we want today. 
for for the sake of talking big talk here. Of course, we're serious about that. All right, we have the willpower to do that, and there's no regret doing it for the community. Mm -hmm. Now, within that hall, like my president stated, Mm -hmm. it will be a one stop shop for our Liberian community activity, wherein we will have our regular town hall. Mm -hmm. The Liberian community doesn't have a record their own where they can gather and interact and network. On our Sion Citizen Sustainability Plan, our Sion Citizen for the first time in the country, in the community history, will have everywhere they will gather to network. They will have, will have laboratory there where we can assist them in doing research to access the pension form or whatever they want to do on the computer. We will support them in that. We will come up with programs to subcommittees that will develop plans where in they will be able to leave their homes and reach out. We're going to create a database within a particular facility where we have access to every single Liberian that living within the central Jersey area and in and, and, and the metropolitan areas. Our young people, it's not about going to have parties. It's about, re- it's about having area where you can, you have direct access to official of your community. You have you, a location you, you, where you talk about sports and recreational activities. Will those activities be at the hall? There will be any place there like that you, also? You, you, need, you need an office space to work from. Recreational activity cannot take place in a hall. Even though someone can take place in a hall, like maybe career fair, job fair, and what of you. But the city have area where in people can go and access. We're going to mm-hmm. work with the city hall. Where mm-hmm. in the librarian, the librarian youth, youth that want to go on the soccer field or other area, they will mm-hmm. have access to obtaining permit to go there. Mm-hmm. But we're going to do it as a community, not as individual. Right now, there are several other young teams that are in the Trenton area that don't have ever called their own. They cannot have access to those areas because even our opponents that run a social club are preventing them from using it because according to them, they're not part of the organization. We don't want this happening. We talk about the Liberian community at large. We Peter are not quickly, talking about individuals. Peter, quickly, let's talk about the senior citizen sustainability program you're talking about this is this is big stuff i i i, I want you guys to know what you're talking about and hold on here hold listen thing. we are all educated yeah, people hold, everything hold that your we please want, hold we your piece for that to execute it yeah hold your piece let me get to it you know here in the u.s the government state government local government federal government they have programs for senior citizens some are in benefits some financial you know some material items, you know, programs to keep. So talk to me. You want to run a senior citizen sustainable plan or program. Where will the money come from? And what actually are the activities that will be in this See, program? We're not talking about providing money or social security benefit to senior citizen. As I know. That's not why you're talking about. Just tell me why you will about senior citizen sustainability. There are many mm-hmm. senior citizens in our community that mm-hmm. don't even have family members. Some of them are old. Okay. They mm-hmm. don't have access to computer. Who do mm-hmm. they look up to? So the Labyrinth Community Center, mm-hmm. we'll talk about the database for them. We'll be able to reach out to the people as a community mm-hmm. to assess them. That's okay. why they're not having maybe immediate family member to support. It's okay. part of our sustainability plan. We okay. cannot do they will all put it together, plan and program for them. Mm-hmm. They will be they, they will have the opportunity to gather to network to reach out to each other. To and did, did, you, did you did you write these things down or you just telling me now because I asked you? Listen, we have a plan as a campaign. We are all responsible people. We're educated. We mm-hmm. have a detailed plan. We mm-hmm. have transcript. Even on your interview, we have tip that will be safe mm-hmm. that people can point out tomorrow. Okay. So we are not here making mere campaign premises. Mm-hmm. People who know Peter Masuka know Peter Masuka us what he do. Mm-hmm. My records are there. I'm not going to sit there and say something because I want to buy a settlement. No. Every single promise that we made to our people will mm-hmm. be delivered in time. That's what we said. We are not doing it as individuals. We are put together a team of professionals that have the willpower and the ability to make things happen. And we're going to work with them to get it done. Mr. President, according to your agenda, you talk about community reforms and and, and programs. So let's talk reform. What is wrong in the community that you want to reform? And what program do you use to reform it? Thank you for that question. In our community, accountability, okay. transparency is lacking in our community. And how can we reform that? And secondly, this community is a 401 c At the end of every year, if people in the community make donation to the association, 
Mm -hmm. They should be able to get a refund at the end of every year that we all do when we do our taxes at the end of the year. So if we, if, if, if we can- are you, are, you, are you sure your community want to give what? Reform in terms of charge? Or no. are you talking about receipt? That's not what he meant. Then he said reform. This, this community mm -hmm. is a foul one to the sea. And if you make contribution, donation, mm -hmm. like every time I make donation to the Hispanic community, right. at the end of the year, I claim that on my taxes. Okay, now nah, I'm clear on that. I claim that on my taxes. Okay. We want to bring that in the community so that when mm -hmm. people make mm -hmm. donation to this community at the end of the year, mm -hmm. they should be able to, to claim that on their taxes. That means you're going to issue tax deductible receipt so yes. that they get some That's of the purpose. Back. That's okay. the purpose of the 501 TDC. Okay. So without the 501 TDC, you'll not be C3. able to do that. 501 C3, I think. C3. You'll mm -hmm. not be able to do that. Mm -hmm. So these are these are systems we're putting in place so that our people, when they give back to the community, mm -hmm. they should be able to claim that at the end of the year. And that will motivate them. But if currently the community you give back, you don't get nothing in return. Mm -hmm. And everybody in this country worked very hard. So that is one reform there, another one. That's one reform. Mm -hmm. And another reform is, look at how you've, the young people drive through the street of Trenton. You see our brothers and sisters on the south corner. These are things that hurt. They hurt me so bad when I see people, our young brothers and sisters on the sidewalk. Look, if there's anything we can do as community, it's to help rehabilitate these guys. I work with the youth movement against the proliferation of small arms in, in Liberia during the disarmament. Mm -hmm. I had a, I had the opportunity to travel to several countries in Africa, and more especially through the modern rural UN basin. During the disarmament, we were able to bring more people out to disarm because of the opportunity that was explained to them. You have a free school to go to when you disarm, and people people took into it. People took into the disarmament process. People willing to disarm. And that helped bug our people that had to go through rehabilitation. Yeah, the young people. So if our young people can be educated about the danger of drugs and, 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 and alcohol and, and, and opioid and other stuff, it will help our community. These are the reform we're talking about in our community. These are things that we need to do for our brothers and sisters. If we can get the reforms done, our people will believe in the community Mm -hmm. And our community will move forward. Thank you. Peter, we yeah. stay on reform here, and I want you to speak to the issue of financial management. You know, when people give their money in donation, you know, transparency, you the president, Chuck and they talked about that earlier. How will you be transparent enough so that every resident of the Trenton area will see that what they gave is being used for the internal purposes. The first thing we did was we carried out a vetting process wherein we selected one of the Bureau's best man. He's a certified public accountant in Rodin. Mm -hmm. He is our financial secretary. Mm -hmm. This man has the ability to build a system that works for everybody. He's been doing it for businesses, for individuals in the urban community. This is what we're going to do. Like, my boss stated, we're going to make sure we issue quality statement on every financial intake, what are deals, donation, grant, every finance that will come to the community, every single member of the community where we have access to those documents through either email or by mail. If you do not have email address that will mail you your statement, we will put it in the mail and come to your house. More to that, we mentioned about the Liberian Community Center. During our town hall meetings, we we'll have a full disclosure of financial intake and expenditure. It will be projected to PowerPoint presentation where people will have questions to ask. Those statements will be printed and hand delivered in hard copy to every member that will be present. We want to do this because we don't want to create room for speculations. Liberians are people that sometimes talk. People will say, hey, okay, because you're there, you're getting all the money here. Why are you doing it? You're eating our money. You we don't want that. We always talk. Exactly. So we don't want to create rooms for speculations. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. we want to be here accountable so the only way we can be here accountable is to put into play the common systems these are common financial uh, best practices that one must institute in order to gain trust and mm -hmm. our team is going to do that that's mm -hmm. why we selected the best man to head that particular office and we believe in his ability the community believe in him and he will definitely deliver simple question here can your team raise at least one million dollars at least one million dollars there's nothing impossible through teamwork we can do that wow i want to oh yes immediately but i didn't get that mr presidential candidate can your team raise at least a million dollars but, but i'm a i don't answer yes or no question i i i, I i'm not faulting you i say i just <laughs> want to <hear. laughs> Because th these are big plans and the, the ideas are not bad, you know, but you need to find the money and you have to be able to sustain it as well. And, and that's why and you can't sustain it without money. And the other thing is the commitment of the people, because you may be in leadership if you don't have the community supporting you. And I like what you said that when transparency, when the people trust that what they're giving be used for the internal in the purposes and they're getting the records to prove that with no speculation. You know, when they have a place that they can call their own place where they can go, you know, the community will be united. Hey, easier said than done. Mr. Presidential Kennedy, how are you going to do this? But my simple question is, can your team raise one million at least? There's nothing impossible. Okay. That is political. There's nothing impossible. <laughs> like I said, mm -hmm. once the system is in place mm -hmm. and our people, mm -hmm believe in the system mm -hmm. believe and see where their money goes mm -hmm. there's a common saying in our community mm -hmm. no matter how much you tell the people that they, 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 you have the money mm -hmm. they want to see the money mm -hmm. we want the community we want to work for our community so the, the way to do that is simple at the end let peter said quarterly we give them financial report for a bank statement look this is this, this this is where the community is today mm -hmm. financially this is where we are this is where we want to be within the next three months and as we go along we're going to inform our people of all of the all of the progress we made and we want to bring everybody on board look it's not an easy tax and i'm going to tell you it's going to it's going to happen overnight right. it's not an easy tax mm -hmm. but if we can sell this to our people and our people can see results. They're going to come around. They're going to be tough from the initial stage, but mm -hmm. they're going to come around. And one more thing. At the end of this election, each member that is going to vote in this election, we have to pay a four-month meeting deal, which will be one twenty dollars So if you, if, you, if you calculate that, it's every month mm -hmm. $5 meeting deal. So... The winner, the winner of this election mm -hmm. will have an initial capital to begin running the affair of the community. Right. The issue of oh, people paying money to vote, as elect as member of the club, they mm -hmm. ask you to pay for four month meeting deal. Then that brings me back to Gosney. The issue of people registering 400, mm -hmm. they have to pay each hundred is a thousand dollars. I mean, each hundred is two thousand dollar. So if you say somebody put four hundred ghost name mm -hmm. on the on the voter roll, you're talking about eight thousand United States dollar in order to get four hundred name on a on a voter roll. So that is not that is not that is not that is not ghost because if you're gonna put ghost name and put five eight thousand dollar, mm -hmm. that tell you. It's, it's not a good name. And you know, 8,000 in this country and any part of the world, that's a lot of money. Okay. So the issue, the issue here is, mm -hmm. in this election, if we all, as Liberian, can come together and put aside our individual differences and work in the interest of the community, mm -hmm. the sky will be our limit. The sky will be our limit, but it will not be if the people are not together. Unity, trust, bring 
the change that you guys are preaching and are calling to your vice presidential candidate, we must do it together. So let's talk about doing it together as a community. Liberians are politically active. Even the old man in Wallace is active politically. She may not talk louder. The same applies here in the US. Liberians share some affinity uh, with all the political leaders in you know, each of us, except for me, I know for fact, I don't know about you guys. The question is, there are people in the community who align themselves uh, based on the person they know, probably in their political on their political side. How are you going to walk that far line to not make the community and give it the national political face, other than a community that binds, you know, uh, Liberians together? How are you going to walk that far line? All right. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, my opponent, myself, from the same organization, mm -hmm. the Trinidad Professional Old Time. Right. Both of us are Methodists. Mm -hmm. We're in the same church. Mm -hmm. Both of us follow the men's department. Mm -hmm. So, we got common place to meet. Mm -hmm. But this election is about policy different. We disagree on policy. My opponent must disagree on policy. And I want to stick to policy issue. I'm not going to go pressing on anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go border. I'm going to stick to the issue. Because after the election, I will need my opponent to work with me, and my opponent will need me to work with him. That is why I try my best as 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 many times possible to stay to the issue mm -hmm. about accountability, transparency, and good governing. And I'm going to continue with that issue. And believe you me, I am a unifier. If this election does not go our way, we're going to work with well, whosoever that wins this election. I'm not into this because I'm struggling because I want political power or because I want position somewhere. I'm into this because we love the community and want our community to come together and move forward. No matter the outcome, and I want to be on record for that, this election is about the community. It's about the love we bear for this community. But if the voters vote otherwise, we have no choice but to listen to the voter and move the community forward. Peter, Unity, you said it well, let's do it together. That's part of whatever differences we may have as a people. We need a community, the community need, need, uh, needs us. How will you do it in the case where there are divisions? Well, our leaders, we're not going to pick sides. Okay. We will remain committed to mm -hmm. uniting this community no matter what. We are waiting to even work with our opponents in case the election result goes the other way. Mm -hmm. This is why in this election, we are not attacking individuals. We are articulating the issues, issues that are affecting our community and why we as a team believe we are the best people to lead this community. If the Labrador community is united, we can work together to achieve anything that we want to achieve. So for me as a person, I have my democratic right to vote for other Republican or Democrat. I don't have to write on Facebook. I don't have to insult Mr. X because he doesn't support my party. Mm -hmm. And these are type of messages we're going to preach in the Labrador community to ensure that we remain peaceful we should be able to tolerate other person political view mm -hmm. of violence. And we're going to do that. This is why through all this electoral process in the community, we've been reaching out to both sides, encouraging them to support us because we think we are the best team. We're not telling people don't vote for this person because Mr. S is dead. No. If Mr. S did wrong in the past, that's his personal issues. If someone have issue with him, if they bring it to the community level, we'll call Mr. S do our investigation and bring that together. We are in this for peace. We are in this to ensure that the LeBron community in Trenton and beyond its border gets back on the map. That's why we are in this together. They work together as a team. Gentlemen, time is fast spent. We're gonna do a few things quickly as we can. Uh, let's start with this one. 
and let me pick your brain here. Uh, the history has been that election dispute or disagreement uh, hurt that come about uh, from election in the Liberian community is one of the sources of the division that we experience in our community. And so sometimes people are thinking that, well, if we were not having elections, would the community be a little more united? Is election our problem here or is it part of the solution? And this one is a challenging one to tease your brain a little bit. What do you think can be the best way to keep the community together with election or without election? Should we have election and election is not an issue or election is part of the issue or contributing to the disunity? Mr. Presidential Kennedy, you go first. The answer is yes, we should always have elections. Okay. We should always have elections. Look. And how do we avoid the cries, the pain, the, the disunity in that's the beauty of, of election. our elections? That's the beauty of democracy. Okay. If you choose not to have election, I mean you going how, how you gonna do that? You're gonna have one one family leading the community or going the community for life. <laughs> and then what's gonna happen if if he or she passes on? Huh? You're going to bring the son or the daughter to come and lead the community. Election is the best way to go. Sometimes it's painful. Mm -hmm. Look, many times, I, I don't better sleep for five hours since the whole campaign process. I don't ready to sleep because I have to make phone calls. I got to return phone calls. There are a lot of things that I had to, I had to do since I entered this race. And to be honest, I and you think you are ready for this? And I told people, I give credit to people that run campaign because it's tough. This campaign is tough. And one thing I'm gonna make, I'm gonna point out to you today. Mm -hmm. This is one of the most important election in New Jersey. This election is gonna bring up people to the pool. The, 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 the momentum is high on both sides. Look, this is a close election. I must assure you, this election is close. And this election, the winner will have the opportunity to bring everybody together. It's a two-year turn. Thank you. It's a two-year turn. And but to answer your question, election is the best way to go to, to, to hold any community or any institution together. Peter, the winners in elections sometimes become more of the problem. The feel victorious. We defeated him. We don't need him. We went into the race. We were chosen to be the best. So we have our agenda. We're going with our agenda. That can be a source of the unity. How will you approach your opponent should you become the victor in this race? First of all, we are built for both failure and success. Okay. This is why we are here to work with every stakeholders in the community. Mm -hmm. I agree, it hurt to campaign for something and you're not successful. Mm -hmm. In this community, keep in mind, the community is not giving individual money to support his family or assigning new birth vehicle to him to go to work or buy a scratch card. Mm -hmm. We are only in this to help unite our community, share our professional ideas, and see how best our community can remain united and get the benefit it deserves. Therefore, I am not, or we are not going to make any mission with anybody. Even right now, I am concerned where is the vice presidential candidate to our opponent because she's been missing for several times. I'm concerned. I'm going to call today to even find out if she's okay because we have not seen her for so many times now. You know, we've been calling for debate. She can't come. We're concerned about her well being because we're concerned about everybody. So, to answer your question, we will not be discouraged by the outcome of this election. I know we're going to win. But if the result go against us, we will reach out. We've been reaching out before election, and we'll continue to reach out whether election or not, because the Labrin community remain our common denominator and it is our goal to revamp the community. And we are Thank in this together. Thank you. Let me read a few comments, and after that, we will get your closing here, gentlemen. This one's from Hannah or uh, Yati, uh, our incoming president, Anthony, all the way. 
And this one is from, I believe, is Talop Miller. I hope I got that right. Or Way to Go, Tim Anthony and Peter. Uh, that person writes, like you have from Atta Tati Senior, uh, Go Tim Anthony and Peter. Uh, that person writes, Hannah must be busy, a vice president, Peter Massacre, all the way. And uh, Mela is also busy. Our community needs trusted leadership. Who will build up? Who will build upon what past leaders, uh, past leadership has done? Um, they uh, Mela here again. There were three options given. We took advantage of all three options provided, and I think she's talking about the registration. Anthony uh, Zilli, by registering more people does not amount to your personal uh, vote. That person uh, writes, that you have from Pre says, every day Liberian people only know how to talk for nothing. That person uh, is trying to express some frustration there. Uh, Anthony, again, there is another, another CDB King kind of election. We don't know that for we don't know that yet. That yeah, from Margaret T. Uh, Margaret here writes Anthony and Peter Massacre. We move. They they are moving to the highest office in Triton, uh, New Jersey. Uh, Meta again. Each member of our team register people to vote for them. So if you want to win an election, you get people to vote. Yep, that's how it is done in a democracy, right? Uh, more comments here. Yeah, I see so much love here from your team. They're just wasting the love on you guys here. Yeah? Wasting the love. You know, this is campaign time, I believe. So more love coming your way. Uh, the man that was... Uh, the man that was left with Victor Jones, why? I don't know. Let me, let me leave this one alone. Uh, somebody is writing something. Uh, the hell here from Fay people are allowed to lobby for voters if a librarian who is an aspirant offer his facilities uh, for the use of election registration. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that, and, and I think I challenge them on that. They made their case or uh, get through, right? Um, no, not get through, but Conray uh, Nyankong, right? Uh, I disagree, he offered it on a charge it was not free additionally that is his campaign headquarters uh that person uh right uh at all tati senior great answer anthony our people need that money in liberia that was when we're talking about the eula thing so many comments and gentlemen we can read out of them uh mario or conga uh teen anthony and peter who full of professionals and really to get the ball rolling on day one. Wow. Well, the tip will keep it. When we start hearing noise that they're not rolling the ball, we'll bring our cameras over there. Uh, let you have from Cassia No. Words are powerful and easy to use. Hope every candidate remembers uh, what they are preaching and know very well, these words will be referenced tomorrow. Oh, of course, thank God. Uh, the VP here is, is somebody who practiced journalism before, so he knows the thing we're talking about here, gentlemen. A few comments there. Um, let me get your reaction to the comments and then we can get your closing. Let's start with you, uh, Mr. VP. Well, um, I want to say thank you to our viewers, our mm -hmm. supporters. Mm -hmm. The comment you read in the session justifies that we are prepared to lead this community because okay. we have impacted people and we've been impacting them and we'll continue to impact people in mm -hmm. every way we can. This is why we came together as a team to unite this community. We believe we can do it. We believe we are in a better position. We believe we bring new and fresh ideas to the Liberian community and we are mm -hmm. willing to work together to listen to our supporter. Look at the constitution of the liberal community here in Central Jersey. The higher decision-making body is a voter. It's not the president or the vice president. So we listen to them. If we do wrong, they have the right to impeach us. They have the power to do that. So um, we are here for them. And everything that we said in terms of recreational hall, 
uh, progress for our senior citizens, the young people, all of these things going to be achieved. We have a game plan as a team to do that. That's our word to them. We want them to listen to us and vote the best team. Thank you. Anthony? Reaction Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Say again? Reaction to the comments before we can get your closing here. Oh, um, I want to say thank you to all our viewers and for the the comments, the good ones, the bad ones. That's the beauty of democracy. And, you know, and this is a free country. You can say all you want, but let's treat one another with respect because we all are part of this community that after this election, we are still member of this community and we will still remain as family. Liberian people, we are all family. No matter the outcome of this election, we're going to continue to work together in the interest of our community. And once again, I want to say thank you for letting us use your airtime. And I want to assure every Liberian in Central Jersey that this election is about accountability, it's about transparency, it's about good governing. We want to restore faith in this institution. And how can we restore faith into the institution? Is by showing you proof that yes, you contributed this amount of money to the association or you make contribution. This is how your money is being spent. And we're going to do that to all of our members. Our members are going to see this election is not about personal gain. This election is about the love we bear for our community. So I want to ask all our viewers, all our supporters to come up on May 14. Come up with a valid state issue ID. Come up with a driver lesson. That's the only way you're going to be allowed to vote. Your driver lesson must match your address that is on your voter registration form. There's nothing that goes in. There's nothing that goes. Ghost doesn't vote in election. On election day, your name will be there. My name will be there, Anthony F. Barry III. I'm going to give my address and my driver lesson. If I don't have a driver lesson, I'm going to give a state issue ID. There's nobody coming from Maryland. There's nobody coming from Minnesota to vote. There's nobody coming from Texas to vote. There's nobody coming from Atlanta, Georgia to vote. Everybody that lives in Central Jersey and its metropolitan area will be here to vote over Valley ID. Valley State Issue ID under the state of New Jersey and that of Pennsylvania. And, 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 and in the state of Pennsylvania, you can come from Boston County, in Morrisville, you can vote. You can come from Levittown, Bristol, and Lehigh. If you're in the Northeast, you will not be allowed to vote in this election. If in Ben you will not be allowed to vote in this election. So if anybody wants to tell you that people are going to come from other states to vote, this election, we know the demarcation. And once you come with your valid ID, you're going to be allowed to vote. And most importantly, this electronic is not paper ballot. This electronic, everybody going to have the chance to vote. So please come up on Saturday, May 14, and vote for your community, come, your vote is your power, your vote is your strength. There's no ghost, and having seen one, my name is on the list, my opponent name is on the list two times. I hope you will notify the election commission so they can make that correction, like the way we're doing to other people. So I wanna say thank you for giving all the time. We look forward to coming back on your air, and we look forward to working with you and other media institution. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. That was the voice of the presidential candidate for the community there in New Jersey. Mr. Vice Presidential Candidate, you're closing. Well, thank Anthony, thank uh, Senator for giving us this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Like we mentioned, uh, we are in the critical stage of this electoral process. Mm -hmm. We want to encourage all registered voters, please come out on May 14 and vote for change. Vote for leaders that are there for you. Vote for competent people that have the ability, the time, and the resources to make things happen. Do not be misled. This election will not be postponed. Nobody will come from outside this territory area to vote into this election. There will be independent observers. 
before you vote, you must have your valid ID that will show your address. Please come and vote. This is about the Liberian community of New Jersey and the metro area. We love you all, and we are here to serve you. Thank you very much. All right, folks, on that note, we will come to the end of this broadcast here at Focus on Liberia on our program, The Hour of Politics. We will say thanks to the candidates and members of their team who are not here but watching on Facebook and Liberians who came to also watch. The Liberian community must be stronger. To be strong, we must have leadership. A leadership that will be able to lead us you know, and unite us. A leadership that will be transparent. That is what we need in New Jersey. This is what this team are calling to them. They are offering the Liberian community in New Jersey. We wish them well, and we ask every Liberian in our community to participate in the democratic process. New Jersey, Liberians are there, and Liberians should be part of the Liberian community so that that community can try. Because when that community tribes, Liberia tribes. Thank you for coming. We always play a song here that says we are all Liberians, and that song is closing the broadcast right now. Thank you, and bye-bye. Thank you. We are Liberians.